Hi, hello YouTube. Bill from Fishing Around Chicago. Back, out, and about. Today I'm in Lyle, Illinois. This is the Lyle Park District. Beautiful park district, man. This this place got everything, man. And it doesn't. It's not everything bunched up. It's separate, separate spots, man. They got the. Uh, a health center, ice rink, separate building. They got a separate, you know, baseball diamonds. Everything's separate. It's huge, huge. Got a golf course. I don't know how many holes, but here's the lake. It wraps around that way. See, but then again, one part wraps around that way. The other part goes underneath the bridge, past that bridge. That's a nice uh, little pond. It looks pretty deep. Uh, and then on top of that, on this side of the pond, the water comes out and goes this way. This canal to the uh, north branch of the uh, DuPage River. East, I'm sorry, East Branch. That is cool. That's really cool. So uh, I don't think they have any access to the water here for fishing unless I go to these weeds. And uh, I don't know what's living in the weeds. So I'm gonna find a place to set up around here somewhere and uh, see what I can catch. Get that. Nice. That's a nice sweet. Nice. Very All right, first fish of this blue uh, this pond here, man. It's a beautiful bluegill on a red worm. It only took me. Uh, I was only waiting 15 minutes. Look at that. All right. Hi, Kevin. Ta-da. There's fish all there's fish active all over the place. They're jumping on the edges. So I um I'm throwing oh. I'm throwing this soft plastic around. I don't I don't remember the name of it. See the bass hit or something. Let me uh toss a couple of times and see if I catch anything. That's some I think such a kind of hit at my uh my deep line. Good action on this, on this, uh, on this, uh, minnow, I mean, on this, not plastic. This one, the other one, the small one is called the Hoochie Mama. I got these off of Cabela. <laughs> it's got a weird action. I don't think I get the I don't think I get the jig in uh, put in right.
weird. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I got the jig lined up correctly on that one. Because the whole body shakes, even the tail shakes and the whole body shakes too, like a wobble. I gotta try. I gotta try to straighten that out. Look what I'm seeing. Look at the view. This is a nice pond. Well kept and everything. Nice pond. Nice looking pond. Nice looking park, man. They have two parking lots. One in the main parking lot over there. I seen is that way, and the other parking lot is over this way. Smaller one. And then they get the baseball diamond over there. Huge. Huge. Alright, so I've been catching bluegill so far. And no hits on my deep line. So uh I'll let you know. Alright fellas, one hour update, nothing, just bluegill. So uh, I'm gonna pack up go over there by the I just said that bridge. I moved my lines back and forth, not even a deep line, not even a, not even a bite. But someone took my bait the first time I caught I caught it. But just bluegill right here on the edge here. So let me go over there and set up over there and I'll let you know. Check this out fellas. Okay. I'm on my way to that bridge. Look at that. It's moving pretty fast. I don't see no holes. I don't see no holes at all. Nice. Okay. Let me go. Let's go find a place okay, over there. I was right there. On top of the bridge. Look at this side. This side looks promising too. Wow. Got a dock there. Check that out. Maybe I'll go to the dock. Yeah, okay. Let's go over by the dock. This way, get the dock. Finally, man, fucking, I mean, hours, sorry. An hour wait. On this side of the pond, I only got us a nice bluegill. An hour I waited here. It's deep, man. There's that big drop off here, man. Deep drop off. They got big carp in here. I just seen a massive carp. Someone else swimming around here at the edge. Oh my, and this guy swallowed the whole freaking hook. And he's bleeding. He's a, a whole freaking hook and he's bleeding. Right from the gills. And it's an Aberdeen hook. Oh well, I'm about to take this guy home. Because he's bleeding too much. He's in for cut bait. <clears throat> maybe I'll do that now. Cut him up and throw him in the water. See if maybe a catfish will hit him or something. <clears throat> Alright, I'll let you back catch Alright, buddy. Catch you. Well, another smile on my face. A nice smile on my face. Woohoo! Crappie. Black crappie right here on the edge. Here's a nice size one too, man. Beautiful, dude. They've been caught so many times too. Get a lot of holes. Look at that. I took my finger to my wrist. Nice. Thanks, bud. Nice. Something different, huh? Okay. Let me uh, throw uh, my line back out and see what I can catch. Look what I found. Very upsetting. It's a freaking goby. I don't know how they get in here. Oh, 
what's the third species? I would say the four is good. I cut through a couple of a uh, couple of uh, sunfish back in the water. I didn't record. Now should I throw this guy back in the water or should I just use it for bait? I'll put him on that line, live line. Uh, that's what I'm gonna can... call it a day, man. Uh, a lot of sun, a lot of green sunfish, man. I got no bites in a cut bait, I got no bites in a goby. Just uh, on these um, red worms. I think that was the uh, bait of the days of red worms. That's pretty. I, had, I got like 30, they came in 32 box. Community Park in Lyle, Illinois. Uh, I'll leave a description on the bottom of the video, back at the, at the end of the video. Uh, beautiful day too, man. Beautiful day. Maybe I'm uh, early, late, low, low 70s. Nice cool breeze. Sun shining on my back. Feels good. And that's it. All right, I gotta. I still want to get some some hit this bait, the cut bait, man. There's gotta be some catfish here somewhere, man. Maybe not too early. I should have come in later in the afternoon, like six, seven o'clock. What do you think? Maybe next time. Alrighty, so this is Bill from Fishing Around Chicago saying, "If I don't see you later, good afternoon, good evening, and good night." I'll see you guys.